It is a Monday. It is a beautiful day. It's hot again. Heat advisory has been extended into the next 24 hours. So today's a heat advisory. No extreme heat warnings. Uh, I just pulled this shot up of uh, um, Levi Stadium just thinking how hot it was yesterday. It was 100 degrees down in the Santa Clara Valley. Easily 100 degrees. A couple records in San Jose two days in a row. Uh, Redwood City had a record. It was hot. And so you're in this stadium, which is built. That's the thing about the stadium it kind of freaks me out. I remember when they built it, thinking, you realize it gets hot in Santa Clara Valley during the fall months, certainly, you know, the kind of the October, November period. And even though the sun angle is lower, this thing picks up the sun angle because it faces west. So this area here, even on a cool day, is baking because what happens is, right, the sun comes down, okay, so these, these particles come out of the sun, right? This electromagnetic energy coming from the sun. It's not heat, it's just vibrating particles. Those vibrating particles hit your skin and they warm you. And they kind of, they vibrate, right? And they, they warm the skin itself, right? They warm the surface and your skin re-radiates heat. Well, plastics, concrete, all that, obviously, as you know, absorb those little fast-moving particulate or um, energy packets and they heat up. So a stadium, if it's a it's a buck buck, you know, 101 out front of the stadium in that parking lot, which it was, inside that stadium in these seats, easily 120 degrees, easily, and I'm sure I'm underestimating. I did a deep dive this morning, and I go, okay, because I used to, <laughs> I used to sell air conditioning in San Francisco, right? I worked for Honeywell right out of college. Um, that's a whole nother story, but we talked about BTUs, British Thermal Units. The most, in my mind, one of the more difficult concepts. The British uh, thermal unit is the amount of energy required to raise w raise temp the temperature of one pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit. One pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit. So the average guy, person, any, you know, I just went right down the middle, about 300 BTUs is what you're throwing off. So you got a stadium full of people, they're throwing heat off. Then you've got the um the, the re-radiation of the concrete at the plastics oh and by the way the field throws heat because it's the players will tell you that that green absorbs or something called albedo albedo is like when those so that energy comes in that really fast moving particulate or that fast moving electromagnetic energy it hits like snow or something aluminum color it bounces off it, it doesn't change phase it stays vibrating particle it doesn't throw any heat into that unit you know, that's why ice chests and things like that are silver stay a lot cooler even though you think they would absorb the sun they actually have a high albedo and they reflect well this stadium that red that green that concrete color does has a pretty the albedo is not very high and so that there's a lot of absorption and that green on the field is big time absorption i actually live next to a high school football field and i get a kick out of atmospherics and the sun, when it heats that turf, somewhere around mid-morning, the birds come in, right? Because as, they, as, the, as the heat starts to rise off of the, the thing, the, the, the vultures, the raptors, I've seen everything in there. And so the heat on that field is, is even more intense than a lot in the stands. So either way, it was probably a solid buck 20 in that stadium where you were sitting. And I can't imagine sitting in that stadium for that long. I mean, I'm sitting over here for an, for an hour would put you away. So as you saw, the stadium was definitely not packed yesterday. It makes me, I really do question, when they built that, I'm no, you know, I'm, I, okay, no, I'm not. I'm not a genius. <laughs> but I'm like, what are you doing right now, right? Well, that's another story. We'll talk stadiums. I know a lot about stadiums, interestingly enough. Okay, so today it's gonna be hot again. Not as hot as yesterday, but hot. We're gonna show, I'm going to show you some cool video in a minute of the sunrise coming up over San Francisco and the fishing boats because I love that shot. Um, we're going to look at the, the increased, um, the, the extended heat advisory, and then we'll look at a bunch of cool weather stuff and a model that shows a chance. It kind of is a legit chance for some showers. So we'll see. So here is uh, tomorrow's, not today's. Today's forecast numbers are going to be just like yesterday's, which is going to be, the lows will be, the highs will be in the upper 90s, low 100s. This is Tuesday. So, and I just wanted you to see, oh yeah, look, I, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be able to survive Tuesday. It looks nice. 
And then Tuesday conquered 93. That's so manageable. That's perfect. Still above the average, by the way. We're kind of getting into October here, and we're still pretty hot. Wednesday, temperatures cool further, which is great. And we'll see temperatures into the mid-80s in the hot spots. And then the five-day forecast. So you see the numbers. There's uh, Tuesday, which is going to be actually that number is incorrect. The Tuesday number is going to be more like 90 degrees. And then 88 85, 80, 43 on the hot spots. And then the coastal sections, right? So this is actually, this is supposed to be more of a Monday forecast. I don't know how Tuesday got in there, but I'm not changing it. So just know that this is the general progression. And then by Friday and Saturday, we have an opportunity to have uh, some showers, maybe a sprinkle or, so, uh, or something like that. So here is the visible satellite image. And what do you see? Well, you see fog and you see, see you can actually see the cheer of the, the kind of the north wind pushing the fog and making it go away, but not able to get this chunk in here. You see the clouds overhead, some cool cumulus clouds today. Those pick up um, in the, uh, this video, which I'm going to show you now. I'm so excited to see this. So let me back it up. So this is Mount Tam. And this is this morning. I love, I think weather is so much about pictures because it's visual, right? And I can tell you anything about dew points and temperatures. And, but when you see it, like you see the fog, you don't see the fog. You can kind of get, a, you know, pictures worth a thousand words. So this is this morning and you see the fishing was, I'm always wondering about these boats going out. Like that's the fishing fleet, what's left of it. And then the sun comes up. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. I used, to, I used to live in Marin. I used to go up that mountain every day, almost every day. And I know this looks like a spaceship, but it's not. I know I saw it the other day. Watch, watch down here. So when you see this, see, make it roll. you'll see this area move through. It's a, a lens flare. I'm like, whoa, what the heck? But as the sun's coming up, it, it's a lens flare. But beautiful shot. Um, we can take a look at San Francisco's Ocean Beach, a great highway cars on it right now. You see some cool alto, uh, strato Q, maybe strato cumulus, few birds, beautiful day, nice, nice day. Um, that is San Francisco's Ocean Beach. This is a little further down the wall, the coast. We've been here before. This is Pacifica. Few people surfing. Really mellow day in terms of waves. No real nasty rips or anything. You can see the sandbar here though, right? Because it's white. A little sandbar here, and then deeper water here. And then there is. Um, I always thought those were really cool buildings on the side there. And then this is Stenson Beach. So where's the fog? Nowhere to be found. We saw it on the satellite, the visible satellite. It's far, far away. Um, that fog will be back, but not anytime soon. Here is Montero uh, Point, or, or Pedro Point, pardon me. This is Montero Mountain, Pedro Point. In here is San Francisco. Here is uh, Stenson Beach, and you're working your way up towards um, Point Bonita. Beautiful shot though. Isn't that amazing? Like you can live, this place can be so close to a, a sprawling urban environment. All right, so what I wanna look at is here. Here's California. I'm gonna, this is the vorticity model. I, I show it to you because I think it's the most vivid and it really just shows you those reds and yellows represent instability or in this case, cooling or even a chance of rain. So like in here, I'd go, oh, look, there's, there's probably rain in there, right? Because of the orange, you know, or there, there would be some precipitation because of the instability. Also out here towards the East Coast, that's some instability. If you pull up the radar, we'd probably see some showers there. So this is the model. This is California right here. We toggle through today, a little teeny little trough. That's the cooling and it just kind of, eh, no big changes, slightly cooler, slightly cooler. And then this guy right here, see it offshore? This guy winds up, and this is our kind of major cooling for Thursday, Friday, and maybe something Friday night, Saturday. That, right? So that's legit, if that happens. But that's a very, that's a, that's a signature of a potential, certainly a, a sprinkle event up north, up towards Del Norte County, but maybe for us too. So that would be, that would be awesome. In terms of fire, we're doing great. We're not... Uh, we're not, you know, we're not seeing a lot. We've got some fires that are burning, but they're mostly being put out, hence the gray. Smoke in the state, not an issue. We can take a peek at the um, purple air, which I, I like just because, it, is it super accurate? Eh, I don't know. I think it's a lot of microclimates in terms of uh, um, atmospherics, in terms of air quality. 
But you get the idea. You can see that, oh yeah, there's a little bit of not great. Yellow's not great. If you're sensitive, it'll bug you, but not bad air quality overall. There was a spare of the air day yesterday, not a spare of the air day today. And then we'll watch this one more time and see the sun come up. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to the um, five day forecast and say goodbye. There it is. Uh, beautiful spaceship goes by, a few cool clouds. And does it, does that look like fall? That's like an advertisement for fall. Oh my goodness. Look where you live, man. It's awesome. Okay, have a great day. We know a little bit more about BTUs, uh, but very little. Do, do a deep dive into that. I was playing with it this morning. Like, I'm going to crush this and dig out the BTUs, how much, how many calories per blah, 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 how many watts is put out. And I'm like, oh, I just confused, confused myself. So all you need to know is it was hot yesterday in that stadium. And it'll be hot, you know, number more days as we go forward. Okay, there's the uh, five-day forecast. Uh, hope you have a good day. Uh, cooler tomorrow, very noticeable.